So I remember watching a Casey Neistat vlog. It was a Q&A. And someone asked him, Yo, Casey, like, you know, you're famous and all that. Why don't you get your son a nice cushiony job that he would just enjoy and love or something like that? And his answer was, the reason why I don't give him a nice cushiony job, you know, at some nice high-end firm or some nice big company, is because if he's working at a shitty job that he doesn't like, he's going to be spending all of his time there thinking about what he wants to do that makes him happy. Pretty much along those lines. I haven't been on YouTube for pretty much like an entire month. Been working, putting in, putting in hours at McDonald's. Got my new chef uniform. You know, got my little promotion, if you will, even though I don't actually get any extra money. During that month, I was just reflecting on my life. I'm really realizing that I don't want to spend my time there. I want to make this work. It made me realize how much I miss and love YouTube. Just creating. And... I don't think I'm gonna be so hard on myself anymore. It's funny, I was watching my channel just go down the drain. The views, the money, the subscribers. Well, the subscribers are going up, but the amount of subscribers I would be getting on a day-to-day -day basis was going down. And I was almost getting like some, some weird kick out of it. Like, yeah, you know, what if I could just make things work outside of YouTube? I was just having stupid ass thoughts. And, you know, I uploaded my video on April Fools and I fooled a, a, quite, a, quite a few of you guys, and I just saw the views go right back up. It's, it's like you guys were just waiting for me. You guys didn't leave. And I'm just like, yo, I'm, I'm probably meant to stay on here. The signs are just adding up, and I think I just have to get back on that grind, so. I'm back. Good God Almighty. Like back in the old days. You know, years ago, they had to... So welcome back my ninjas, as you guys can clearly see from the title, Power Building with Calisthenics is no more. Oh Simon, you keep quitting every time you start a series, you quit. Why do you keep quitting everything you do? You failure, you sh you're so shit Simon, you're so shit. Listen guys, listen, I am not done bulking and I am not done powerlifting. Clearly from the title, you can see that it is now back to the old school powerlifting with calisthenics, where it all started, where most of you guys came from. I even brought it right back to the old way of recording with just me and my tripod and just doing it set by set and doing my commentary over it. Now mind you, I will only be doing it this way for this series, for those of you guys who like the vlog footage and stuff like that you guys will see that in my bodybuilding series which will be coming up in the next video it's gonna be similar to this me recording my own exercises but I throw in a little bit of vlogging I throw in a little bit of diet I'm just trying to mix it up a bit and just not only entertain you guys but reach my goals which I am NOT going to be telling you guys about anymore from now on I just want you guys to sit back relax and watch me hit these goals Okay, this series now is all about the gains. No vlogging, no other stuff, just me lifting and me making gains and hitting PR. So I'm about to be hitting 295. I have no patience. I'm hitting over 300 today. And you know what, if I feel it in my balls enough, I'm gonna go for a PR. I should go for a PR, right? Two, 320? Huh, 320? We'll see. Let's go. Take this advice guys, do not prematurely tell people your goals. That's trying to give yourself the satisfaction of you reaching your goals before you even reach your goals. It's like busting prematurely, okay? And it's not a good feeling. You don't want to bust in two minutes. You want to you want to last at least like a good 10 minutes, okay? So again, do not tell people your goals or at least your major goals. And that's what I'm going to be doing now because I always used to tell you guys my goals. Every goal I had, I used to tell you guys. And sometimes I'll fail and admit it will discourage me or I won't, it won't work out. So now I'm just going to keep my goals hidden and just hit them and be like, yo guys, you see this shit? You see this shit? I put in that work. What do you got to say now, fam? Okay, I don't have it in me. 295 is my max for today. That's just me getting back into the gym though. I started feeling some pulling in my, my midsection. So I'm like, shit, no, I am not going to Snap City 
on the first day back. So on to the overhead press. Oh, feels good. I'm only showing three sets of this exercise by the way because it's not really one of the more important exercises in this series but anyway it feels amazing to be back it feels amazing to see you guys again my gym membership is actually ending tonight as I record this freaking commentary but I should be getting paid this week so I should buy my next three months of membership again and I'll be back in the gym every single week five days a week four days a week sorry because I'm doing calisthenics outside uh, anyways calisthenics videos are coming bodybuilding videos are coming you guys are gonna be shocked or a little surprised at the title of my bodybuilding series but anyway you guys tell me what you want down below or what videos you guys want I got diet videos coming vlogs powerlifting calisthenics all that shit coming soon enough but anyways I am back and I'm better and yeah stick around keep supporting me I appreciate you guys and stay blessed okay guys done